What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's uh, video, we need to talk about the fact that there's most likely going to be a reversal and a correction back down within most of the cryptocurrencies, excluding XRP, which seems to be trading and different from the rest of the cryptocurrencies. So that's pretty much what we're going to be looking at. And just for reference, you can see here, XRP, for the most part, has pretty much been trading sideways for many days now. And we're going to try to figure out if there's maybe a new technical indicator, pattern, channel, anything that could help us kind of gauge what exactly XRP is doing. But for right now, since retesting top resistance over here and becoming near overbought, we've done exactly what we figured and correct downwards a little bit longer than we had planned for it. But we're pretty much just flatlined out, trading sideways, losing volume. And, you know, again, just trading at the 50 on the RSI, which is OK. There's nothing wrong with that. That's where we needed to go to. But now we're just just kind of doing nothing and we're waiting for some sort of movement either a break up a breakdown so on and so forth we thought maybe this was uh you know xrp was gearing itself up to tie itself in with the rest of the cryptos because xrp was overbought a couple days ago on october 9th but you can see now we're trading at 50 in the rsi we thought maybe it needed to pull itself down to get in line with the other cryptos which have been trading sideways at the 50 waiting for it to catch up clearly that wasn't the case here because we saw a major explosion within ethereum here exploding to the upside uh and we were able to capitalize off this run for those that don't think this is a rally i I am sorry that you don't think that, but well, all who do believe it's a rally will be taking advantage of the of the uh, the potential here to leverage trade and, and make some profit. But we had this major explosion that we've tracked perfectly if you watch these videos off the major symmetrical triangle that forms here. Typically, we say that, you know, after symmetrical triangles form from a bearish correction here, they usually have a bullish bias, which is exactly what we're seeing. Well, we have stop losses up very high. We actually took profits off these trades here. And there's a good chance that we might be able to start to see corrections downwards moving forward here. We don't have that volume and that vigor to continue to move up higher. So there's a good chance that we are going to start to tip lower. Same thing applies to with Bitcoin and the S&P 500. With that all being said, we are going to be going in depth about the possibilities of, of reversing our trades to shorts moving uh, moving forward here. But with all that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, as you can see, top 10 cryptocurrencies, we seem to be pretty much consolidating. We're only down by 2% here, but we did see a pretty substantial rally over the past couple of uh, days here. You can see Bitcoin's up 7% for the week. Uh, Ethereum's up 19%. We have Cardano up 14, Doge up 42%, so on and so forth. Polygon up 14% for the week. Lots of cryptocurrencies took advantage of this week from the S&P 500 breaking a vital resistance level and starting to reverse upwards. Now, you can kind of see the possibilities of maybe a double bottom forming here. It's definitely a hard one to uh, to confirm here, and it doesn't necessarily look like it on the weekly charts here. We did hit a bottom support, though, on the S&P 500. This bottom support right here, you can see why it's so important. Last time we were retesting this resistance we broke through and that's what started that was like the uh the spark that you know uh ignited the the rally that happened in 2021 and here we were bouncing off that support again kind of close to the middle of the major ascending fractal that we have here which has been on this stock market for for many years like 12 years moving forward here so we're looking to see hey is this going to bottom are we going to do something like this uh i i really am hoping that we're gonna that this is the lowest point i have a feeling I just have the small hunch that there's a good chance we could reverse back downwards to here, retest it, and then see a reversal. Uh, the only reason I feel that way is because of what happened the last time. We had a lot of problems in this area before and a lot of resistances. So this is another problem zone that we've seen in the past here. So I don't know if we're going to do that, but that's kind of what I'm betting on because uh, I just don't feel like we're out of the woods just yet and there's a good chance we'll head lower. I don't know if we're going to be breaking down to all-time lows for the first time for 2022. You know, I really hope that we stay above the support here, but I don't think uh, this is it. I don't think we're going to be, you know, smooth sailing upwards from here. I think there's a chance we could reverse off this, fall back down to support, retest it, then maybe start, you know, the, re uh, the reversal or the swing back to the upside here. Otherwise, there's a chance we could go to this support and I think that would be the lowest point. So I am stacking my bags, getting ready to buy back into these major cryptos. But it is, uh, you know, a waiting game right now. So we just have to wait to see what exactly happens. But I do believe moving forward here, we are going to see a reversal either back down to support here or back down to support here. Whichever one, I'm not entirely sure. But because we, you know, we 
had a pretty substantial run within the stock market here. Uh, you can see, let's just take a horizontal line and figure out how high we've gone so far. The price range so far from bottom up, we've actually swung about 11%. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start to correct back down after, you know, exhausting ourselves from that run, retesting potential resistance and moving averages here. And we start to see a small correction back down. I really hope we see some sort of double bottom and that sends us back to the upside here. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Regardless, you can see why I also believe we're going to correct downwards here, putting in short positions is because you can see the stock, uh, sorry, Bitcoin is also hitting moving average or nearing moving average as well as resistance right here. So there's a really, really, really big chance that starting now we're going to start to see a dip back to the downside here and a pull back down to bottom support. I just really think that's going to happen. We said that we weren't and we haven't traded on Bit, uh, Bitcoin for a reversal to the upside here because we were still inside a major problem channel here. Here. And as you can see, we're clearly getting rejected off here. I said specifically, and I'll say it again, that I'm only going to buy back in if we can break this resistance. We could break 20K. Let's say we close anywhere in this moving average here. We close at 21. 21.5. That's enough reason to believe that we're going to see a swing to the upside. But because we're getting rejected off resistance, I have a feeling we're going to correct back down and start to see more trading inside the sideways channel, which means I'm not getting involved. But if you want to play a moderate to aggressive trade, you could short this. That is a, an opportunity. Same thing with Ethereum. I have this gut feeling that because we're now retesting overbought yet again on Ethereum here that we are going to dip back downwards here. Maybe we'll trend inside this moving average a little bit longer, but I do believe we are going to skew downwards here moving forward forward. I mean, it's going to take some time, but I do strongly believe that that's what's going to happen. Um, because of how quickly we've broken bullish. I, I'd be shocked if this starts to rally to the upside. It's it's possible. It's huge. Uh, but I just don't think it's going to happen. Truly, what I'm waiting for is how we close this weekly candle here on most of the cryptos, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum specifically. If we close exactly where we are and with confidence, you know, closing on Sunday, we have two more days outside this downtrend here. There's a chance that moving forward for the next couple of weeks, we could start our journey venturing back up. But until then, you know, we did take our profits off trades like this you know we don't want to be too greedy here and there's a good chance that moving forward we'll get we'll get some sort of answer hopefully we close above here hopefully the weekend closes us where we are but there is a chance we could consolidate back down but the fact that we're outside of this resistance here gives me confidence we'll start to head back up uh, at some point soon in the next couple of weeks. Otherwise, uh, you know, definitely make sure to check out Bityard, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. Uh, they offer many different cryptocurrencies, many blue chip cryptos. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Chainlink, Cardano, add a Adam, uh, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, so on and so forth. They even have XRP, which makes them unique from most exchanges here that usually don't offer XRP for trading. I even made a video that you guys were asking me about uh, how to buy, sell with no fees on Bityard here. And I made that video a couple of days ago. You guys can check it out. It's right, They YouTube definitely updated this, but it's right here. So make sure to watch this if you are interested. Sell crypto for free, no fees. Really good uh, video that I made, so make sure to check that out. Um, but the best part is they do offer leverage. They offer buying. They offer shorting crypto, which is huge on a super, very easy to use platform here. Not only that, they even offer a demo account, which is really cool. And then they even offer you know spot trading and so on and so forth. If you do decide to join, make sure to check out the link in the description. And once you sign up, click mystery box right here to actually get some free cryptocurrency, you know, just as easy as that. But otherwise, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video, guys. Like I said, we're pretty much just sitting ducks at this point, but I do for XRP. But I do believe these other cryptos are going to potentially start to dip a little bit lower here as they got really hot really quickly and they haven't broken through some major resistances. Major resistance is, you know, 1600 on Ethereum where these moving averages are. We haven't broken that. Same thing with Bitcoin. Same thing with the S&P getting rejected off these levels. So I think short term, we're going to see some correction here. But I do think we're now going to start to ski, uh, scale to the upside here. I really do think moving forward, you know, we could see either a double bottom like this on the S&P or we're going to see some sort of movements like this, where this was the bottom indication right here. And this is the reversal that we have. And now we're going to start to move upwards. We'll see where that goes. Otherwise, that's going to wrap up today's video. Make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.